Hello, I'm Ben. I'm a finance professor. Today we're talking about what is ESG Invest. ESG stands for Environmental, Social, and Corporate Governance. ESG Investing considers how well a company works for societal purposes in addition to its core goal of making profits for shareholders. Within an ESG perspective, working to achieve a set of environmental goals, a set of goals related to supporting social movements, and a third set of goals related to whether the corporation is governed in a way that is consistent with the goals of the diversity, equity, and inclusion movement are usually advocated. Let's take a closer look at the E, the S, and the G. E is for environmental. So what impact does a firm have on the environment? This can include things like a company's carbon footprint, hazardous chemicals used in manufacturing, and supply chain sustainability activity. S is for social. How can the company's social impact be improved, both within the company and in the community as a whole? Social concerns include LGBTQ equality, racial diversity in the executive suite and throughout the organization, as well as inclusion programs and recruiting procedure. It even considers how a firm promotes social good outside of its own corporate boundaries. G is for corporate governance. What are the board of directors and management's plans for promoting good change at the company? Governance encompasses everything from CEO salary to board diversity to how well that leadership interacts with shareholders. Dollars invested into ESG assets have grown from nothing to 30 trillion since 2000 and Bloomberg projects ESG assets to hit 53 trillion by 2025. This would be one third of all global assets under management. So many people are interested in this type of investing and the growth has been very rapid. How does this work or how exactly are funds invested? Instead of giving you a definition, I will quote verbatim what Vanguard says about their ESG fund. First, firms are screened for certain environmental, social, and corporate governance criteria. So this could be things like carbon footprint or other pollution. Two, specifically excludes stocks of certain companies in the following industry. Adult entertainment, alcohol, tobacco, weapons, fossil fuels, gambling, and nuclear power. So these could be firms considered bad for society. Three, exclude stocks of certain companies that have violations of labor rights, human rights, anti-corruption, and environmental standards as defined by UN Global Compact Principles. So firms that have been found guilty of violating child labor laws would be excluded. And fourth, excludes companies that do not meet certain diversity criteria. So if firms have 100% white male leadership, they may be excluded from the ESG fund. Now we'll look at how ESG funds Funds perform relative to regular index funds. I will use the Vanguard ESG fund as that is the largest fund in terms of assets I could find at over $5 billion. It was founded in September 2018. I will use Vanguard's VTI as comparison. That's the largest market index fund in the world. It invests in the entire US market and has over $1 trillion in assets. If we compare the annual returns of the Vanguard ESG fund to the returns of the market, they look like this. One year returns are minus 6.1% for the ESG fund and minus 4% for the market. Three-year returns are 16% for the ESG fund and 15.5% for the market. We couldn't consider any longer time frames as the ESG fund is too new. So the returns are very similar. That should not come as a surprise. The largest firms in the ESG fund are Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, and Tesla. These are identical to the top five firms in the market index. You might be curious about how Vanguard will be able to filter firms with low ESG scores out of its list of potential investments. The answer is there are many companies evaluating firm's ESG performance, and they will happily sell those scores to firms like Vanguard. Also, there are ESG indices. You may have heard in the news recently that the S&P kicked Tesla out of its S&P ESG index because Tesla did not have a low carbon strategy and because of racism and poor working conditions at the firm. So a second way is they can look at indices. So that is my quick primer on ESG investing. ESG investing takes into account more things than just profits and stock returns and looks at how the firm is in terms of the environmental, social, and governance areas. Thank you very much for watching. If you thought this was valuable, please punch the like button below and I'll see you in the next video.